Hello everyone, WolfieCast here, back with another Hero Basics video, where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you what their abilities do at level 1. No upgrades, no talents, nothing special. Just jump right into the game, and this is what the abilities do raw. This time we have Paco, big, lovable, yeti man, with a lot of slows, a lot of CC. Paco is a melee frontliner with the tags Bruiser and Controller. So, uh, you will see that his abilities kind of have this very heavy theme of freezing and slowing to apply several versions of soft and hard crowd control. Uh, but before getting into that, let's go over his stats. Paco has 2600 health and 15 armor, which uh, actually, if you may recall on the Gnosis video, I said that he had the most health of all lightly armored uh, heroes. It's not true. Paco actually has 100 more health than him, which I didn't know that until recording this. So uh, good on you, Paco. But anyway, let's get into his abilities, starting with the left mouse button, which is called Frosty Swipes. It's a basic four hit combo. Each attack does about 120 damage pre armor mitigation. And they look like this. You do a swipe and then two spins. Each attack does damage on hit. And like I said, with other uh, characters that have been melee, melee range in this game is a little bit forgiving. So you don't have to be like point blank, like brushing up against him. You can actually hit him from quite far away. Next up is going to be Paco's right mouse button, which is called Snowball Toss. Now, this is a very big spell description, so bear with me. But basically, you can hold down to charge up, and then you toss a snowball that uh, follows a very heavy arc. And yeah, on impact, it'll deal damage, and then afterwards, it'll explode to deal more damage. Enemies that are in the explosion are applied a freeze debuff, which deals 50 damage per second and slows movement speed by 20%. And then enemies in the explosion are also stunned for one second, which applies the uh, stun status and interrupts. Charge levels, rank one, the snowball impact does that much damage. And then you will you can kind of read this yourself as you're going over. But basically, higher ranks means that the impact damage does more and the explosion damage does more. Now, I want to clear up several things. There are, there are several rumors and several misunderstandings with the charge of this ability. The only thing that the charges per rank of this ability does is increase the impact damage, the explosion damage, and the explosion radius. So this is this is important, the radius. The rank one is a two meter, rank two is two and a half, and then rank three is three. That is all the charges do. It does not increase the freeze duration, does not increase the stun duration, it does not make the snowball faster, it does not make the snowball like it, it does it doesn't do anything like that it doesn't make the snowball like travel further every snowball size has the same trajectory every snowball uh has the same like arm time you know larger ranks does not mean that it stuns faster this is this is all the charge levels do so please please remember all this because it's important it's like for a very long time a lot of people thought that the stun lasted longer or it exploded faster it does not do that with that out of the way this is what the ability looks like so you can charge it up and you'll see those three back uh, brackets kind of show what stage you're at and the snowball will get larger. And then Paco does this really funny animation of the snowball almost looking like it's too heavy. But then you let go, snowball gets hit, and on impact it'll immediately drop to the floor at the feet of whoever you hit it with, or, or hit with it. And then it'll, after a second it'll explode in the radius and everyone that's in that radius will get stunned and take extra damage and then get that frozen debuff. And so just to just to show the smaller version, you toss it noticeably smaller radius, but still applies the same uh, the same freeze damage uh, and the same kind of uh, stun duration. Moving on now, we're going to go to Paco's Q, which is called slip and slide slides along the ground for up to three seconds and you gain extra movement speed uh, while you're sliding. Uh, and then if you activate the ability again within the slide duration, it'll end the slide immediately with an uppercut punch that deals damage, uh, 200 damage pre-mitigation, and then pushes enemies uh, away from the point of impact. Now, yet again, another ability that says that it interrupts, it does not interrupt. It does not apply the interrupt condition. The only thing this would interrupt is if the enemy is required to stand still. So please don't get confused. This does not actually apply the interrupt debuff but it looks like this you slide along the ground and if you hit it again you punch 
you got it's a it's a really fun ability you kind of get yourself uh in there do a little bit of aoe uh damage if they're kind of clumped together a little bit of a little bit of fun crowd control but and uh but that's a uh, that's about it it's really fun next up uh, finally for the basic abilities is e which is called frost path creates a long path of ice that lasts for up to five seconds Enemies in the space are dealt 50 damage per second, uh, applying the uh, the freeze debuff, which uh, reduces movement speed by 50, uh, sorry 20%. And then allies and yourself that are in the frost path will gain extra movement speed, a 40% movement speed buff while you are on the path. And it looks like this. So you see, just breathe out in front of you, create these patches of ice, apply damage over time. And uh, while on the path, they move slower and you move faster. Very, uh, very good ability for kind of kind of applying that soft crowd control, making sure enemies stay in fights longer, or you can use it to escape by placing it in front of you. So then, you know, if you if you place it in front of you, then enemies have to chase you along this path while you're running like super fast. This ability also like weirdly will climb and go like climb and descend uh, walls and sheer cliffs for no explainable reason. So like if I use it here. Like that space in front of me, but then I go over here. It's like up there as well. Isn't that crazy? It's it's a it's a very interesting ability. Very good. And finally, we have Paco's Focus, which is called Breath of Frigid Air. Now, uh, on activation, you will breathe in for a channeling for a short time, which will apply a full freeze debuff to enemies that are in the space. Full freeze deals 50 damage per second and reduces movement speed by 60%. And after 1.3 seconds, you will exhale and turn enemies that are in the space into snowmen. Uh, breaking, uh, while they are snowmen, uh, they will be given a small shield. And then if you break that shield, it will deal extra damage to the enemies that you break from the shield. And it does not have to be you who breaks it. It can be anybody that breaks it uh, will deal that extra damage. But per focus gain, uh, the breath damage increases over the duration, uh, which deals about... 106 and then rank 2 141 and then rank 3 does 173 and then per rank as well the breaking the shield that the snowman effect gives will deal 300 at rank 1 400 rank 2 and then 500 at rank 3 and it looks like this so large conical breath effect which are slowed in that space and then after they get turned into a, i don't know why that motiga just did not get turned into a snowman that was weird maybe he was maybe this was enough cover for him to be considered like not in the uh, area anymore but uh that's what it looks like another thing to note about this uh this focus is that enemies that are in the space are not guaranteed to be turned into snowmen if they leave the space beforehand what i mean by that is that if you say channeled the inhale breath on the motiga and then you turned and tried to get Gnosis in the space, the Motiga is not going to turn into a snowman because you're, he's not in the space when the exhale happens. They have to remain in the space uh, of the exhale to be turned into snowman. And, you know, on the flip side, if I do the full uh, inhale on the Motiga here and then I turn over to Gnosis, Gnosis will get turned into a snowman even though he wasn't on the inhale breath. So, like, it, it's two separate instances of damage, or separate instances of, like, crowd control here. So, I'll just show that really quick. Inhale, and then I turn. Nasus got turned into a snowman. The Motiga did not. And then also see if I break the snowman there, it does uh, extra damage, kind of bursting him out of that shell. But that is everything about Paco. Very fun character. You can tell he's got a lot of crowd control. Kind of fills a... Kind of fills, like, a... Fills a bruiser style sort of off tank role uh with his kit and there are there are upgrades that kind of increases uh kind of survivability and such but that's for the deep dive anyway if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like uh subscribe to the channel leave a comment if you wish and if you learn something new well i guess i did my job right <laughs> so anyway have a good day i will see you guys on the next one